In this module, we'll do problem 2.34 of your textbook, which is the book on Introduction to Electrodynamics by Griffiths. Well, what you have here is a solid sphere of uniform charge density rho. What that means is rho equals total charge, which we'll denote as Q, divided by 4 thirds pi r cubed. 4 thirds pi r cubed. It's a uniform charge density. And the question is, find the total electrostatic potential energy of the system using the various expressions we have derived in class. So what does that mean? One in particular, and this is our first method, is given by W equals one half times rho integral of rho V, the potential, d tau. And this is the volume integral of, in, in our case, sphere of radius r. Because rho is zero outside of that. Okay, so you'll need electric potential here. So very quickly, we have done this in class. We have derived this in class. The electric field is given by Gauss's law outside the sphere, kq over r squared. And therefore, when you integrate that, you'll get the familiar potential outside, which is kq over r. Well, inside, it's given by Gauss's law as well. But the expression changes because you have a uniform charge density. So you would get a linear dependence on R for the electric field and inside the sphere and when you integrate this is the expression you get for the electric potential and so that's what we must enter in all of this. One thing that will be useful for us throughout this problem is when you look at d tau in spherical coordinates you get R squared sine theta d theta d phi dr and in all of these expressions for electric fields and potential all you see is radial dependence so our integrands will in this example again will not have a radial dependence oh, sorry will not have an angular dependence so this will be a very quick way to reduce integrals we'll all very often have sine theta d theta well for a sphere it goes from zero to pi in, in spherical coordinate system and d phi that goes from 0 to 2 pi and it's a quick check that this is 4 pi so this will reduce all our triple integrals to a sing single integral in R okay so let's actually begin our calculation once again the electrostatic energy is given by 1 half integral of rho v d tau. Let's put what we can. It's one half. Rho is a constant, so I'm going to bring it outside. But in particular, I'm going to write it out as q over 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then, of course, a three integrals. It's a volume integral. Okay. And let me do 0 to pi anticipating theta, 0 to 2 pi for phi, and 0 to r, uppercase r, the radius of the sphere. And what am I integrating? Rho, which I already brought outside, times the potential. Well, potential where? Inside the sphere. So I have kq over 2r, 3 minus r squared, for uppercase r squared and then the volume element r squared sine theta d theta d phi dr as I mentioned before uh, d theta d phi sine theta integrates to 4 pi so what we'll have here is 1 half times q times 4 thirds pi r cubed times, I'm going to bring this out because it's a constant, kq over 2r. And of course, I'm going to integrate these guys out and bring out a 4 pi. And then we're just left with the radial integral, which is not a difficult integral, r squared over uppercase r squared, r squared dr. 
little simplification here. This 4 pi cancels with that. The 3 goes to the numerator, so I'd get 3k q times q, q squared over. I have 2 times 2 over here, 4, and there's an r cubed. r cubed and an r, so r to the fourth. And I get this 4 from 2 times 2. Well, this integral is not very difficult to do. Integral of 3 r squared dr. Well, it's 3 times integral of r squared dr. But that's r cubed over 3. And when you put the limits in from 0 to r, it's just r cubed over 3. And then I have minus 1 over r squared. And then I have r squared times r squared, which is r to the fourth dr from 0 to r. So that's just r to the fifth over 5. So I can, you, you can see this is again an r cubed. And the 3's cancel. So I can bring an r cubed outside in the numerator, which cancels with most of this. And you're left with 3 k q squared over 4 r and then I have 1 minus 1 fifth which is 4 fifth. So finally the total electrostatic energy of this configuration is given by the force would cancel and I'd get a 5 5 over r. And this is the final answer, and this is what we want to verify using other means as well. Well, what's the other way to do it? Um, there are two other ways. I'll do part C of your textbook, and you should verify that part B is trivially true by, you'll see what I'm referring to. So to do the next uh, integral, the next expression, let me first write down the expression. So it's w equals epsilon naught over 2 and then you integrate e e squared d tau by some volume and the volume I'm going to pick is a bigger sphere of radius a of course a is greater than r but it's going to have a boundary term as well and it's a close boundary, it's the sphere, and it's nothing more than r equals a of the expression v e dot dA. This is the other expression. Uh, of course, I can let a go to infinity, and we'll, we'll show that if that happens, this goes to zero, and what remains is this, and that's part b of your textbook, and you can easily let a go to zero and verify that. Okay, so now let's get started. This is epsilon naught over 2. I'm going to bring break this into two integrals. I'm going to have e squared d tau. I don't think things could disappear, but apparently it can. So this is volume of radius r plus e squared d tau. Here you'll use the field inside the sphere, in. This is out, and this is the intermediate region. And what do I mean by that? It's it's this guy right here. Okay, so it actually goes from R equals R to R equals A plus the boundary term. Okay, so let's put these terms together one by one, epsilon 
not over 2. It's a three-dimensional integral. So e inside squared. So first of all, when you square it, it's see it's r hat dot r hat. So e inside squared is nothing more than so you would get k squared q squared r cubed r squared r hat dot r hat and this guy is 1. So when you come back here a inside squared so it is k squared q squared over where is it? Oh, this, uh, this is r cubed squared, so it's actually r to the sixth. r to the sixth, and then there's an r squared. Then the volume element, which has another r squared, d, dr, and then of course sine theta, d theta, d phi. This is from 0 to r. 0 to pi, 0 to 2 pi. Okay, play the same game one more time. Except now I'm going from R to A and I'm using the field outside. So this is the outside region, right? So this is K squared, Q squared over R to the fourth and r hat dot r hat which is 1 times r squared sine theta d theta d phi dr once again from 0 to pi 0 to 2 pi okay plus an area integral okay so it'll have only 0 to pi, it's a sphere, 0 to 2 pi. Potential, what's the potential? Well, it's a potential outside. It's k q over r times e, which is e outside, k q over r squared, r hat, let me put it this way, dot da. What da are we talking about? It's this guy right here. And dA is nothing more than r hat, it's radially outward, times r squared sine theta d theta d phi. There's no d, dr there, so it's r hat r squared sine theta d theta d phi. So most of these integrals are redundant. Over here, sine theta, d theta, d phi, it gives you a 4 pi. Same thing, it gives you a 4 pi over here. It gives you another 4 pi when you integrate, but there's nothing left to integrate. This is all evaluated on the sphere of radius A. So the integrals here are very, very trivial. So let's do them very quickly and get the final answer we need. Okay. So then W epsilon not over 2. I'm just going to write the final leftover integral. There's a 4 pi and 0 to r k squared q squared over r to the sixth. I got the 4 pi out and then there's r to the fourth dr plus again the next integral there's a four there's four pi coming out everywhere this time we're going from r to the larger radius a if you recall a larger extra distance from here to here and the term there is k squared q squared over r to the fourth r squared dr. Then of course the boundary term and when you integrate the angles there's nothing left. 
and so what you get over there is k squared q squared over r cubed and then there's an r squared so it's 1 over r but here again the radius is a so we replace it with a and of course times 4 pi Okay. Now it's just a matter of collecting terms. And let me see all the factors that I can bring out. I have epsilon naught over 2. There's a 4 pi. There's k squared, q squared. And yeah, I can bring out at least that. So then we have 1 over r to the 6th, r to the 4th dr so that's nothing more than r to the 5 over 5 plus k squared q squared has been brought out this is 1 over r squared when you integrate it you'll get minus 1 over r minus 1 over r going from r to a and then again it this is nothing more than 1 over a. And this, if you recall, is the boundary term. And this times this factor is the boundary energy term. As you can see, as a goes to infinity, the boundary term goes to 0. And as a goes to infinity, this better give the entire answer. We'll, we'll check that feature very quickly. So once again, um, I'm going to 4 pi epsilon naught is nothing more than 1 over k so simplifying k q squared over 2r so I would have 2 I can bring out a factor of r from most everything but maybe not most everything so I'll just leave it as 2 and then I would have 1 over 5 R and when I put in the limits I get minus 1 over A and minus of minus which is plus 1 over R and plus 1 over A so you can see the boundary term cancels out a part of the volume integral and so this is k q squared over 2 r 1 over 5 plus 1 which is 6 over 5 or once again 3 k q squared over 5r and this is exactly the answer we found before once again notice as a goes to a goes to 0 we, we could integrate over all of space and we wouldn't have a boundary term this in in this case they both would independently vanish so we have found the electrostatic uh, potential energy by various methods and we find it uh, to be exactly the same